It turns out your parents might have been right to tell you to get off the couch and play outside. Researchers at Ohio State University have found that spending too much time indoors may play a role in nearsightedness. Nearsightedness, clinically called myopia, is a condition caused by having an eyeball that is too long. In a normal eye, light enters the eye through the pupil and converges on a sensitive layer of cells at the back of the eyeball, the retina. If a person's eyeball is too long, light from distant objects can't reach the retina, and so the image becomes unfocused and fuzzy. Myopia is often caused by genetics. Some people are born with longer eyeballs than others. Because of this, scientists have long believed that most nearsighted people are myopic from birth. However, rising rates of nearsightedness are causing this belief to change. In the 1970s, 25% of people aged 12 to 54 in the United States were diagnosed as nearsighted, compared with 42% in 2000, an increase of 66% in just one generation. Clearly, there are other factors at play, and this recent research suggests that spending too much time inside could be one of them. But why would spending too much time indoors affect vision? Though research is still ongoing, scientists think they may have an answer. They believe that eye development during childhood is dependent on external cues, not just genetics. Exposure to light and contrasting colors, known as visual feedback, can help guide proper eye growth. And scientists are convinced that visual feedback has changed in recent years. Studies have shown that children in recent decades are spending far more time indoors than their parents did, and the correlation between myopia and light exposure may explain the dramatic increase in nearsightedness. Perhaps it might have been a good idea to turn off the TV once in a while. Then again, hindsight is always twenty twenty.